Okay, right here is a 1981 Terex 7281 front end loader. This machine was originally designed by Euclid in 1968 as the model 7280. When Euclid went to design this loader, it was a big engineering step for them, simply for the fact because at that time, this was the largest wheel loader ever designed by Euclid, and later on in history, it would still remain the largest loader ever built by Terex. One interesting thing about this machine is that it never saw production under its rightful designer's name of Euclid, meaning that no 7280s were ever built by Euclid and sold to a customer. That's because the same year when this loader was designed, later on in 1968, when GM was forced to give up the Euclid division because of an antitrust lawsuit, a new company formed Terex, and the 7280 was taken and renamed the 7281 and officially launched by Terex in 1969. And as I said, this is the largest loader ever built by Terex. It weighs 57 tons. So I'm going to take and show you around the machine and tell you some history about it. The big bucket that you see on the front can handle nine cubic yards of overburden. And that's the standard bucket capacity for a 7281. Now, one interesting design feature with this loader is the positioning of the bucket cylinders, which as you can see, unlike most loader manufacturers, which would mount the two cylinders inside of the loader arms, Euclid did the opposite and mounted them on the outside of the loader arms. There is a reason for this design. As you can see, the two lift cylinders are mounted in the center inside of the loader arms. So because of this, Euclid had to position the bucket cylinders on the outside of the loader arms. And you can see where it connects down to the linkage to push the push rods to curl the bucket in and out. Right here is the lubrication chart, and this shows where all the grease fittings are on this machine of points of lubrication. Right here, you can see where the loader is pinned together in the two sections, and this is where the articulated steering is. Two cylinders on each side to turn the loader left or right. All these hoses that you see running inside the frame run from the pumps out to power the loader in the front. Originally, this loader was installed with an Allison CRT 6033 three-speed transmission. But later on in 1974, the transmission was upgraded to a newer three-speed CRT 7033, which is what you see right here. And behind it, you can see the drive shaft running back to power the rear tires. Now I'll take you up inside the operator's cab, show you the control setup and also back by the engine and powering system. Here you can get a good view of the operator station on the 7281. As you can see, there is a lot of room inside the cab. This is the exact same cab design that you will find on the smaller 7271. Right here are switches to work the lights for if this machine is working at night. These are warning lights right here for the filters for the transmission or hydraulic. This is your clutch pressure, transmission, oil temperature, air pressure. This machine does have air brakes, engine oil pressure, your amp meter, and your water temperature. It's a standard loader too, just like any machine, forward, neutral, reverse. And these two hand levers that you see right here on my right side control all the functions of the loader in the front, one to pick the arms up and down, and the other to curl the bucket in and out. And there's a crystal clear operator's view if you were running this machine. Right behind the operator's cap is the hydraulic oil tank. And right here is the port to fill the tank with hydraulic oil. The two air filters on this machine are mounted on each side of the hood. You can see one here and one over on the opposite side. And they clean the air and then suck it through this pipe down into the engine. The 7281 was powered by a Detroit 12V71T, 
which produces 438 horsepower. And this is the standard engine for all 7281 loaders. Around the back here, this is where your fuel tank is located, and here's the cap to fuel the machine with diesel fuel. This gauge right here tells the operator how much diesel fuel is in the tank. And on the back of this machine is a three-section counterweight. The uppermost piece that you see right here, this not only acts as a counterweight, but also as a guard to protect the radiator, which is right behind it. And up on the top, you can see where it says, Terex. Right here, you can see where the batteries are stored for this machine. Now in 1973, there was an upgrade project by Terex to upgrade this machine to a newer B model. However, due to market conditions at that time in history, the project was put aside and this loader was never upgraded to anything more than you see it is right here. The end finally came in 1982 when the big 7281 was dropped from Terex's product line and replaced by the newer and smaller 90C model. There she is, Terex's largest loader, the 7281.